Hi everyone, welcome to Apple Tech page. Do you get could not connect to Apple Pay error when you are trying to add a code in Apple Pay on your iPhone? If yes, then see this video and try the following solutions to get rid of this error. Solution 1 is Turn on wallet under cellular or mobile data. Some users have said that they get this error when they try to add a code using cellular data but it works on Wi-Fi. To get rid of this error, you have to turn on wallet under cellular data. To do this, go to settings app. Next, find and tap on cellular or mobile data. Make sure that cellular or mobile data is turned on. Now scroll down the screen to use cellular data for section. Here you have to turn on wallet if it's turned off. Solution 2 is restart your iPhone. First go to settings app. Next find and tap on general. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on shutdown. Here, drag the power off slider to right to turn off your iPhone. Once done, wait for 30 seconds and turn on your iPhone by pressing the power button until you see the Apple logo. Solution 3 is turn on airplane mode and turn off it. Open settings app. Now enable airplane mode, then lock your iPhone and wait for a minute. Next, unlock your iPhone. Disable airplane mode again. Solution 4 is change your region. Go to settings app. Now tap on your Apple ID name. Next tap on iTunes and App Store. Here tap on your Apple ID. Tap on view Apple ID in the pop-up window. Next, you might be asked to enter your Apple ID password or device passcode. Here, tap on country or region. Now tap on change country or region. Here, select your country. Then tap agree in the upper right corner and again tap agree to confirm. Next, enter your card details. You have to also select your region under iPhone settings. To do that, go to settings app. Next, find and tap on general. Scroll down the screen and tap on language and region. Here, you have to tap on region and select your country. If already selected, then select a different country and wait for a few seconds. Then set it to your country again. Once done, try to add a card. Solution 5 is Turn off and turn on wallet under iCloud. Go to settings app. Next, tap on your name. Now tap on iCloud. Scroll on the screen to find wallet and turn off it. Then wait for 30 seconds and turn on it again. Solution 6 is first restart your device for iPhone 8 and later models. First, quickly press and release the volume up button. Next, quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the sleep or wake button and volume down button at the same time until you see the Apple logo on your iPhone screen. For iPhone 6s Plus and earlier models, press and hold the home button and side button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. Solution 7 is try a different Wi-Fi network. If you didn't add your card using current Wi-Fi network, then switch it to different one. Once connected, try to add a card. Solution 8 is Reset Network Settings. 
This process resets your connected Wi-Fi networks and passwords, APN and VPN settings and cellular settings. To do this, go to Settings app. Next, find and tap on General. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on Reset. Here, you have to tap on Reset Network Settings. Then enter your device's passcode. Tap on Reset Network Settings in the pop-up window to confirm this process. Solution 9 is make sure that date and time of your device is correct. Launch Settings app. Next, tap on General. Then find and tap on Date and Time. Here, you have to turn on Set automatically. If already turned on, then turn off and on it. Solution 10 is make sure that you set passcode. A passcode is required to use wallet app. If you didn't set a passcode for your iPhone, then set it first. Once done, try to add a card. Solution 11 is sign out of your Apple ID and sign in back. First, go to settings app. Next, tap on your name. Now scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on sign out. Then enter your Apple ID password in the pop-up window and tap turn off. If you want to keep a copy of your data on this iPhone, turn on those features. Next, tap on sign out in the upper right corner and again tap sign out in the pop-up window to confirm this process. Then restart your iPhone and again sign in back to your Apple ID. Solution 12 is update your iPhone. Connect your iPhone to Wi-Fi and go to settings app. Next, find and tap on general. Then tap on software update. If new version of iOS is available, tap on download and install. Solution 13 is reset all settings. Reset all settings will reset your customized settings to default settings but no data or media will be deleted. To do this, go to settings app. Then scroll down the screen and tap on general. Again scroll down the screen to bottom and tap on reset. Now tap on reset all settings. Next, you will be asked to enter your iPhone's passcode. In the pop-up window, Tap on reset all settings to confirm this process. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to Apple Tech page.